So let's talk about the post-production workflow. Now, personally, I'm a big Final Cut Pro guy. Final Cut Pro served me really well for years. It's got me where I am today, so I'm gonna stick with it. But knowing that some people are kind of changing up their workflows, I'm gonna give you a look at both Final Cut Pro 7 and Final Cut Pro 10 with the AC160. So first we're gonna look at Final Cut Pro 7 because it came first, so why not? And then we're gonna look at Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get started with Final Cut Pro 7 and the AC160. Okay, so here we are on the desktop, and before we even get into what we're gonna do with Final Cut Pro 7, let's do a bit of housekeeping, just to kind of get you in the habit for managing your cards once you start post-production. So, as you can see right here, I've got on my desktop a card that I shot on the AC160, not a whole lot on here, and I've got my system hard drive, and I happen to have an external drive, and you're gonna to have to get in the habit of working with a lot of external drives because you're going to have a lot of stuff that you're going to need to move around. And so the first thing I'm going to do before I even get started with thinking about doing any kind of editing is I'm going to make a backup of my card. Now remember, this is your digital negative, so it's really, really important that you keep a copy of this totally pristine before you've done anything in editing so you can always come back to it just in case you know something goes weird. You're making a backup here. So first thing I'm going to do is open up my external hard drive I'm going to make a new folder in there, and I'm going to name it after this project, and I'm just going to call it My Project, just to be cute. I'm going to open that up, and I like to name things kind of the old way of doing it for reels, just a consistent way of doing it. But, I mean, you know, you can pick your own way of kind of going along with this, you know, whatever you need to get this uh, up to speed. So I'm going to call this... Uh, D for day, 0, 1, C for camera, camera 1, and R for real, real 01. So now I know for this project, whatever's in this folder is going to be from the first day, from A camera, or the first camera, and it's going to be the first reel, or the first card that I shoot. So I open that up, I go into the AC160 card, and I see I've got all this stuff in here. And all I want to do is just copy all of this stuff. And so I'm going to just... 